Hey guys, so I'm going to show you all how to possibly fix an airlift pressure sensor fault. Um, sometimes this can happen if, if dirt or water gets stuck in the pressure sensor. Um, there's not a lot of videos out there that show you how to do it. Uh, most of them just um, tell you to replace the entire manifold which can be very very expensive um, so let's get to it so the first thing there's four screws one two three four we open that up so the next thing you want to do, you want to pick this up carefully, you know, and damage the pins on the inside. Okay, that's out. You'll see your, your water, waterproof seal here. And there we go. So here we get to the circuit. So now there's a few things that we need to do. So, first of all, you'll see um, one, two, three, four, five Allen key um, screws. You need to open that up. So, just be careful. These you need to open up a little bit till it just gets to the top of the circuit board okay so once you've done that so it's these four screws here one two three four five sorry five screws um, you lift it up a bit should loosen you lift it up a bit and then you you have to go in and open the rest because you don't want to put unnecessary pressure on the circuit board by screwing it out all the way the first go so you lift and unscrew So that comes off. Now you'll see these are the pressure sensors. Well, there's there's actually five. I've already taken out the rest. Um, so these are what they look like, and the actual sensor is here. So what I found in this, there was some dirt stuck in this nozzle. Um, so you just need like a pin to to just clean it out. Um, sometimes that can happen. So especially if you're not running your water trap and your traps between your solenoid block and your tank. Sometimes people run in between compressor and tank. So basically to get this out to clean it, just this part here, um, you get a very small flat screwdriver and maybe put some, some tape just so you don't damage the board. There. And you just wedge it slightly under you'll see like on either side there's there's uh there's locking clips on either side of it so you have to carefully carefully pry it out there we go doesn't take much effort and 
there. So once you have that, take a pin and and just clean up there. I've already cleaned these up. Blow it out, do whatever you want, get it clean. So as I said in, in the one that, that was showing me a sense of hold, I saw some debris in this here. And while you're here, you can actually go ahead and clean up these these components of the manifold. So I I opened further and I also found some dirt in a few places. So we just clean that up one time. So just make sure all these O-rings are still fine. They're not damaged, cut to um damaged in any way these ones look fine so what i just did is i just took um pin allen key whatever the case is the smaller allen key cleaned it out then you can go further in opening these and cleaning the rest of the o-rings there so once you remove this base plate you will see more o-rings so yeah just make sure no dirt any of that sort if there is any clean them out okay then once you know everything is cleaned you're gonna put everything back the way it came off. So you'll see guide pins over here. That goes, lines up here on these two pins. Perfect. Put on screws back. Make sure you have all your O-rings in place. If not, you're gonna have leaks and issues. Then you'll have to do this whole process again. Make sure they're nice and tight so your o rings are sealed, not too tight to break the or strip these screws. This also goes back, and you follow the guide pins. And three screws. So you see these these pressure sensor pins, they actually, once they're on the board, they fit in here, right, and once they're in there, that's how it, the, the air pressure goes through these nozzles and gets read onto the, the actual pressure sensor itself, and that's how you get your reading on your remote. Um, so these things must be cleaned nicely so this is one way so most of the time you'll probably see um, these things blocked with dirt or whatever and you clean them and then it's all fine but if you do that and um, you're still getting the fault then it could be that this actual sensor itself is gone and at the end of this video I will um, post a picture of the sensor and you can you can get them off eBay or, or Amazon or something so once you get that you can just um, take it to um, um, company who, who, who builds circuit boards and stuff like that and ask them to please um, change the sensor for you and it would cost you like one tenth of the price compared to buying an entire management system again especially if you're out of warranty so yeah if this doesn't help you replace the entire sensor and 
You're good to go. So now we just tip these back. So just make sure it's clipped in properly. There mustn't be gaps on either side. So you'll see all five are clipped in. So the five would be for your four bags and then one for your tank pressure. Now we put this back in. So let me just turn this around like this. So you can see how these pressure sensors fit in. goes into those holes and now before you forcefully push it down you actually need to line up your screws screw it in a bit so just make sure that this cap here is closed so it can seal properly on the o-rings so you do that by just tightening these these bolts so you see the gap is closed and the pins are in place the pressure pins there's no gaps on this side so just go back and make sure it's tight Then this goes back so just be careful of these pins you don't want to bend it so be careful put your four Torx back and there you have it you can put it back in the car have a test and as I said if you're still getting that pressure sense of fault issue then you replace the entire sensor so at the end of this video I'll, as i said i'll, I'll uh, add a picture and a part number thanks guys hopefully this helps you out um, and saves you a lot of money so guys i just reinstalled the manifold um, Everything seems to be working fine. I'm not getting the pressure sensor fault anymore. I was getting the pressure sensor fault on this rear right bag, but it seems to be fine now. At least we didn't need to replace the actual sensor itself. Thanks guys, this video and fix was brought to you by Stan Certified, we specialize in air ride suspension um, and coilover suspension or any loading suspension systems. We also have our own brand which is the Stan Certified Performance Kits. Um, like us, message us, follow us, share our videos and we will post more fixes and more how to do's. Thank you. So guys, this is the pressure sensor that you can get off eBay. Um, this is if um, just cleaning the nozzle and the pressure sensor alone didn't fix your issue then you can just order us this off eBay and get uh, someone who prints circuit boards to just solder this for you